Kitty, and today you're going to see probably my first public cake fail. Now I'm no baker, so I had to look up a bunch of stuff on YouTube, but this isn't too hard. So over here we have my leveled off gluten-free cupcakes, and I used a box mix. And then over here we have my attempts to um, level it off with buttercream. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have to put decorations on this. It looks so easy on the internet. And here's my beautiful buttercream shimmering with butter. So we will report back. I attempted to frost three of the cupcakes, but I don't see how I'm going to make these like flat. Because every time I move the spatula around, it just, you know, fluffs up. You can use a knife if that's all that you have. And I'm just going to slowly turn it underneath keeping the spatula level and I'm just trying to spread the buttercream out nice and wide and then I have to put decorations on and these are really small it's I think maybe the YouTube person was <laughs> using jumbo cupcakes <laughs> okay well um let's just see how I do leveling these out ta-da they're like mini versions of the bigger cake I feel pretty confident that I can put the decorations on top of these, especially the big one. That's my practice. Here are all of the cupcakes leveled more or less. Some are better than others. I can see how people could get really good at this. I mean, it was going faster, but there's a lot of muscle memory and stuff. So I think at this time, this is probably the best I can do. I guess it's time to make up our um, parchment paper cones and some food coloring for the ridiculous decorations. Here's my practice rolling the parchment cones. Look at that, look at that. See I'm practicing? Now I have to make up some of the colors that I'm gonna be using, starting with the green and the black. Here we have our Kelly Green Wilton gel color, unopened, unused. Oh my God, it's like rock hard. What's wrong with this? Ah. Okay, I managed to liquefy the <laughs> extremely hard gel, but I don't really like this color. It's too much of a, I don't know, mint green. So I'm gonna attempt to add this in there, which is also really hard. Did I go too far? I think I might've gone too far. Okay, that's better. It's darker. That's a respectable leprechaun green. But here's the thing. When I tasted it, it tasted a lot like food coloring. So I thought I would add a little peppermint. And while the peppermint's okay, I added too much. And now I'm not really convinced that it's going to pipe well. I think it's just going to melt in my hand. So I'm going to add some powdered sugar. I made a cone, but how am I supposed to get the frosting down that little tube? This is going to be awkward, very, very awkward. Exactly what I thought would happen, but I did manage to do these. I did manage to get the stuff in the cones. As you saw, it melted, but like some of them went better than others. <laughs> I had to, this one, the tip was really small. I don't know how I did that. I wish I could do it on purpose. And then here is where it got extremely melty. See that? These were okay. That is probably one of the best piping jobs. This one, not so much. And this one, it was just melting all over the place, and I was trying to go really quick. In the video, she did a little dots of chocolate piping buttercream, but I'm just going to use chocolate chips because I'm not that fancy. Um, Perhaps I should have used the buttercream. <laughs> Time for the eyebrows and the beard. And then I'm going to use my orange Bailey's buttercream. And I'm going to start around on his lovely bushy orange beard. Just making a little back and forth motion. Now, of course, my favorite part of the cupcake, the little leprechaun, is his bushy eyebrows. 
I've made the beard, which is a combination of golden yellow and copper. And the, the bowl color kind of threw me off. I didn't know what color I was actually making. So let's like compare and contrast. Oh yeah, that <laughs> looks like a pumpkin. They have to have like beards and eyebrows. And in the video, she like put on this fancy tip and was like, <laughs> like some sort of cake ninja. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. For one thing, I don't have a fancy tip. So what should, what do you think I should do? Like apply it with a fork? Um, yeah, let's just try that. This wins. It's weirdly realistic. I still don't know how I'm going to do the eyebrows. I may have to do the cone. Okay, we got a unibrow thing going on here with the uh, fork applied. That one's gonna get eaten first. I did the final, final uh, finishing touches on some of these, which is I had some orange frosting left, so I extended the beard down. Where's one that doesn't have an extension? Oh, I don't know. They all look weird anyway. <laughs> Never mind. And you know, they kind of look like Ed Sheeran in a weird sort of way. Sorry, Ed. But like some of them really do. <laughs> have it I'm there's no way I'm doing that black buckle I'm going to screw it up so we're just going to leave it as it is with my Ed Sheeran leprechaun cupcakes happy 17th of March it is the morning after the party everyone was pretty impressed what people especially liked oddly enough was the random mint frosting they thought that was really good. One of the people said that the buttercream I used tasted like a German bakery. And that's because I used a whole egg buttercream that was really close to the German buttercream recipe. I don't know. I found it when I was looking up different kinds of buttercreams. So I will post the link in the description. It was actually pretty easy. I have confidence that anyone who can use a thermometer can do it. Anyway, this concludes my first cake fail. And the funny thing is, Karki, who had seen the video of what it was trying to go for, which I will also post in the description, took one look at these and said, wow, that is a Pinterest fail. <laughs>